In this video, I will give an overview of the new features that are included in the 5.3 release. Afro is now a 64-bit application and also now has multilingual support. Here is how the 64-bit version of Afro compares to the 32-bit version. As you can see, the 64-bit version increased the speeds for the multipoint models between 33 and 35% and for the two-point models 17 and 25 percent. The multilingual support provides the ability to have localized strings in Afro like comments and material names in the user's native language. It also supports localized file and folder names. The new 5.3 release also comes with the ability to open and read material data from a network or online folder. This feature can be used if you have tabular data that you or your company uses often and that is on a network server or somewhere online. This feature currently is only available for the tabular lookup format. It requires you to modify the Afro configuration file which only can be done by an administrator. The configuration file needs to point to all the material data files and the material files need to be in the LKPX format. Here is an example of a modified configuration file. As you can see in this example the location points to the lookup file that is currently available in the AFMAT database but you can point your configuration file to your local server or your online folder. Once you have copied your modified configuration file in the Afro folder, you can go to input, then material, and then tabular lookup. If you modify the configuration file properly, you should see the download button in the lookup dialog. If you click that, you should see all the lookup files that you entered in your modified configuration file. Also new to the 5.3 release is the ability to use different material data as a function of spectrum level. I will go over how to create a spectrum with the environment tags in a later video, but for now here is an example of how one should look. As you can see, you can enter temperatures for each level in a spectrum. This feature is only available for the tablet lookup data. So you would go to input material and type a lookup. You need to create multiple data sets to use this feature. To do that, you'll select data set and you can read a file that you would like to use. To add a data set, you'll select add and then you can read a file that you would like to use. To assign a temperature to a material, you will go to general and in the area where it says temperature, enter the temperature you would like. Afgro will use the material that corresponds to the material assigned to the spectrum at each level. In the case that a level does not have a tag or there is no matching temperature set in AFGRO, AFGRO will use the default set, which is the material that has the checkbox next to it. Also new to the 5.3 release is the ability to apply different material data to different crack directions. This feature is only available for the tablet lookup data. 
and only works with the A and C direction. The CT and C direction use the same material. To use this feature, go to input material and then type a lookup. You'll need to have the material properties crack direction dependent box checked and the lookup dialog. This will enable you to add material in the C and A direction. To add material in the C direction, select the C direction under dataset. And you can read a file that you would like to use. You'll do the same for the A direction. We have also added corrosion effects to AFCRO. There are three models, exfoliation, intergranial, and pitting. There are two material loss corrosion models, exfoliation and intergranial. The material loss is modeled as a change in thickness or the equivalent dimension for models without a thickness. These models also require a time dependent spectrum and can only be used one at a time. These models are found in the tools menu. Here's how the exfoliation model will look in AFGRO. The input parameters are A, which is a material constant, T, the exposure time, B, another material constant, and RH, the relative humidity. Here is the intergranial corrosion model. The input parameters are A, which is a material constant, T, the exposure time, and N, another material constant. The last model is the maximum pit size. This model predicts the maximum pit size possible for 17.4pH, 304L, and 316L stainless steel surfaces under a thin film electrolyte condition. Users have an option to choose from five different concentrations. The maximum pit size may be used to define the initial crack length for a life prediction. AFGRO 5.3 now gives users the option to control the percent of actual low solution that is used to approximate the out of plane bending solution for these straight through the thickness cracks. This feature is available in the predict preferences menu. As you can see, the default factor is two thirds, but AFGRO now allows users to change the factor between one third and two thirds. We have also added a new advanced solution for the corner crack at a countersink knuckle. Here is the section explaining the new solution out of the technical manual. This solution was provided by Jody Kornenberger. Here you can see the limits for the solution. To use the new solution, go to input, model, advanced models. Next, drag a countersunk hole 
to the specimen. Then you'll add a part through crack to the knee of the hole. When you add a second part through crack to the countersunk hole, the hole will automatically go to the center of the specimen and the cracks will become symmetric. AFGRO now has a bearing solution for the advanced cracks at a hole. The solution is based on the closed form solution developed at the National Research Council Canada. The solution was modified by LexTech based on finite element results. You can find out more about this solution and the modifications made from the white paper stress intensity factor solutions for two independent through the thickness cracks at an offset pin loaded hole available at the afgrow.net website. To change the load fraction in the advanced model, you would add a hole, then add a through crack. Click in the specimen and in the properties window, you can edit the stress fraction. Please remember that the bearing loading is based on the bearing stress, so make sure the load fraction reflects that. We have also added a new classic model that allows users to use the capability of the current to the user defined beta models for two interdependent through cracks. As you can see, this model allows you to define two different plate thicknesses and widths along with the crack lengths that correspond to the plates. Here's what the user defined beta dialog looks like for this model. The difference between this table and the user defined beta tables for the part through the thickness cracks is that the matrices do not have to be square. Users may choose the number of crack lengths in each direction to be used in a table for the solution in each direction. The solution that will be used in AFGRO will be linearly interpolated from the tables for each direction. Please remember that if a crack length falls outside of the table, the nearest value in that table will be used. Another class of model that was added in the 5.3 release is the single edge crack model with a finite height. The type of solution for this model was provided by Safe Engineering. The height to width ratio or H over W were between 1 and 10. The crack lengths for this type of solution are normalized by taking the ratio of the crack length over the width of the plate. The values you see listed on the screen were used to create the solution. The solution is only valid for dimensions C over W greater than or equal to 0 0.01 and less than or equal to 0 0.975. We have also added the global constraint property for the advanced models for in-plane bending. Even though you have the option to select true or false and other solutions for the advanced model. This only works for the slot solution. To turn on and off the constraint for in-plane bending, add a slot to a hole and a crack. Select the specimen and in the properties window you can choose from true or false.
Thanks for watching. For more information, you can visit us at afro.net or contact us at 937-438-0300 or email us at info at